hello guys welcome back to my channel so in the previous video we set up the redux so in this video we are going to create one onboarding screen we will use redux to display the onboarding screen on the first time using redux persist okay we will save one onboarding status data okay in the redux persist and after starting of our application on the first time we will turn that to true okay then we will design the splash screen and display except the first time okay for the first time we are not going to display the splash screen and then after the onboarding screen if the user again offering the application then splash screen will be displayed okay so let's get started so before that i am using some assets okay i will give the assets link in the google drive link below the description so i am pasting the assets here by creating one folder by creating one folder that uh, assets okay and here i will paste some assets you can find the link given in the description of the assets okay then i'm closing this then let me open in the base code the project okay open your project then you can see that here is the assets so let me rename this to small a okay fine then i will add a package json file okay when we will access the assets we will use the package name here the alias okay at asset okay fine so now let's create the onboarding screen so let me close all the things here and uh, you can see that we have created a folder of screen okay that is onboarding screen here we will create that we will use one package for the slider okay the onboarding here you can see we will use the react native intro slider here we will use this package and also we have to import this package from the react native intro slider then here are the slides okay those slides we want to display here we need to put in an array of objects okay each of them is one one object okay then we will display this array in the app intro slider okay you can see below here app intro slider and here the render item will be the render items and the render item is a component okay that is a view to display these images okay here is the data of slides okay we are passing then on done for this button okay so now you can see that you have taken one render item okay here and he is uh, accepting one item okay this likes this is array of slides then it will be iterate in let it uh, three onboarding objects here so it, it will be displayed in three times okay so it will automatically render this array of elements without using any loops maps okay so let's build that then after we will create the actions reducers for the onboarding screen okay so here i will paste the slides okay you can see that i have taken three slides and let me change these to add direct okay to the alias we will we have used the alias like this you can see on the assets folder and inside the package as well, we have taken asset so i will replace everywhere like this asset okay fine then here also i will do the same things at the rate at the rate asset okay fine we have the slide data then let's import the react native intro slider so i am importing here up intro slider from react native 
into slider okay fine so now we will take one function okay that will render our intro slides okay so we will take one render item function okay here it will accept the item then inside that we will return the view okay and we will return the view here make sure that view is imported yes view is imported here then inside that we will use one more view okay and there we will use some text inside the text we will display the text from the item okay dot title so this will be the onboarding title then we will display the image of the onboarding we will later do some styling over here then i am putting here image and uh, i am importing image okay you can see that automatically it has been imported then i am writing image then putting the source the source will come from the item okay item dot image we have taken here you can see title image key okay and the text we have used title and image later we will use text as a description okay fine then we will take one more view that will contain the description okay text and display the item dot text here fine then we will use the custom buttons okay like the render button like the next button you can see here he have used some custom button below you can see you can see here render button, next button render done button okay we will do we will use them okay so here so here we will import the ion icon like import ion from react native vector icons slash dist slash ion icons okay fine here we will render three buttons like the next button done button and the skip button okay so let's do like this we will use them one of functions one one functions okay you can see render next button okay this will be one function of view okay and here i will return the view later we will add the styling then i will use the ion the icon you will use here is arrow forward outline okay this is j icon you can find that from the ion icons.com then color we will use one rgba color that is 255 255 255 for the transparent things okay nine fine give some space here okay fine then size will be 24 okay fine we will use one icon okay that will that will handle the next button okay like this we will also create the done button and the skip button in the same way and here we will change this to done button and one more is the skip button we will do the next same thing here that is the skip okay fine so we have uh, created all these things so later we will add the styles okay we will use the extended style sheet okay that we have installed 
then here we will return f into slider then for data i will use the slides array okay it will take the slides array as data the app i have some type mistake here intro slider okay fine app intro slider then slides okay fine then here we will render the item that is render item and we will pass the function render item then for render done button okay we have used custom that is render done button this one okay and uh, we have used the next button render next button and the function will be render next button then render skip button okay and the function we have used is render skip button fine and we will use one more function okay on end reached that means after the slides will be end then here we will use on done okay that means after finishing of the slides on done that will navigate to the login screen okay so for this we have to import the navigation okay because we are gonna navigate to the login screen after finishing the slides so here i am writing navigation is equal to use navigation okay we will again import the user navigation so here i will import from add react react navigation that we have installed for the navigation purpose okay this one okay fine and here we will import use navigation okay and after finishing the slides that we will create now the function on done okay we will move to the login screen that is navigation dot navigate and here we will use login okay we, because we will go to the login screen once the slides will be finished then like this also we will on skip okay if the slides will be skipped then also it will goes to on done okay let's write rename this to by pressing ctrl d or in mac command d in one time on end reached okay fine then here dot click enable we will do that true okay then so skip button okay we will display that to true fine we have successfully created that so now let's check the stack what we have uh, used for the first time the splash screen is displaying and uh, in the we will now implement the splash screen then after finishing the splash screen then it will go to the onboarding screen okay later we will change that here we will put some condition okay if the onboarding screen opened then uh, uh, we need to display the splash else the onboarding okay for the first time the onboarding will be displayed then later the splash screen will be displayed okay so now let's create the splash screen so i'm going to splash screen and inside the indexes we will put some logics for the splash screen we will add the image and uh, after some time we will navigate to another screen okay so here we will use a state okay we will use a component state that will be constant is visible okay then set is visible okay then here we will use state and set to true okay you will use whenever the is visible is true we will display the splash screen after that if it is turning to off then we will 
navigate to the onboarding screen okay then here i will take one navigation property for the navigation purpose use navigation okay now you can see automatically i have imported from the react navigation native then we will import the use effect okay you may know use effect will run on the first time of the component load so here i will write use effect okay fine a lots of thing we will do later after registering the user we will check here the token is available or not okay so now here we will add a timeout function okay after some time out after some time out the slash screen will be navigate to the onboarding screen okay so here i am putting some timeline here that is uh, 1 1000 millisecond okay then here i will use one function that is hide splash screen okay so here i will define that function that is hide splash screen okay then inside that i will set is visible to false okay you can now understand what i am going to do then after setting it false we will navigate to the onboarding screen okay navigation dot navigate to onboarding let's see what was the name of the onboarding onboarding okay i'm copying this and inside that we are pasting here okay later we will change this to the home okay now we will write one more function that uh, will display our image okay constant renders plus and here we will return the view let's see here view is imported or not yes view is imported and inside that we will use one more view and the styles we will do later then we will use image okay import from the react native you can see automatically it has been imported then i will give the source require from at asset there was a uh, one icon okay we will use that that is splash icon dark dot png okay then here we will apply some styles okay some inline styles that is uh, we will give some width to it that is 150 and height to it also 150 and the resize mode of the image okay that will contain okay fine so we have uh, used the image the icon of our application let me break this line then finally we will return here inside the view we will use is visible state if is visible is equal to true okay then we are gonna render the splash okay else we will do nothing okay this means that whenever the state is true we will render the splash okay the state will be visible for 1000 milliseconds after 1000 seconds it will navigate automatically to the onboarding screen okay fine so now let's run this application then we will add some styling to it then we will implement the redux thing okay and the reducer also so now i am running here my application react native run android before that make sure you have saved all the things okay then i'm clicking run 
and here our metro server is started just keep that behind don't close that and you can see that fail to launch emulator is showing here but uh, let me stop that and again check my device is connected or not okay, here is my device connected you can check that by using adb devices if adb is not installed you have to install that by googling how to install adb in your platform in your particular os okay so here i am again running the application and the meta server is already running so that will be used so now all our javascript are bundling here once it bundle then it will be shown here so now change the initial route tab to splash here okay then again save your project and let's see what is happening here let me close here and again start the project by clicking here new web okay now you can see the splash screen and here is the onboarding screen okay okay fine so let's add some styling to it for the styling things we will use the extended style sheet that we have installed okay so now i will go to the app.js okay here we will use some things okay to use the extended style sheet we we have to build the style sheet okay then after the extended style sheet will be work okay so here we will import the es style sheet that means the extended style sheet from the react native extended style sheet then we will use this inside the app and in use effect and here we will use es style sheet dot build okay it will build the es style sheets then it will displayed okay so let's style the onboarding things then we will style the splash screen okay fine so here i have to create one styles dot js file so now let's import the es style sheet so i'm going to object and uh, copy here the imported things okay the es style sheet and pasting here then here we need to export the style like uh, export constant styles is equal to and there will be one key this will be accept okay so this is the advantage of using es style sheet so we can accept parameters and we can directly use inside the style and we can also check some conditions okay we will do that here es style sheet dot create okay okay so this styles we will use inside the index.js so let me paste all the styles because uh, it will take much time for, for styling purpose okay now you can see that i have pasted some style sheets here okay that i have created before you don't need to worry about it okay i will explain that whenever we will use inside the onboarding okay we will use one of them like this okay then we will explain that you can see that for the slide view we have used these styles okay then for the title container we have used these styles and for the title okay we have used this then for the image container okay we have used this and for the image we have used this and for the text container okay for the description things we have used this okay then for the text we have used this and this is the for button for the next skip buttons and the skip button text color and the skip view okay so this all style we will use in here so before that inside the constant okay you can see that i have imported constants here okay this constant you can see that this constant okay we have taken one packages on here 
of the name alias constants okay we have imported this constant then we will import some styles okay here you can see okay i have imported some styles you can see that this is the my light theme and uh, this is the dark theme okay so this you can find inside the git link okay so this color themes will be used when we will implement the dark and uh, light features okay like for the light theme this color schemes will be used and for the dark theme this color will be used okay so copy from the github repository and paste that here and you can see that default theme we will import that from the from react navigation okay fine you can see that default theme is coming from the react navigation and like also we will import the dark theme and here some colors that uh, the react navigation native is providing okay we will use them later like the color for the background for the card okay and uh, here we used dark here dark is false and here dark is true okay we will use this later to check and here some colors okay the colors coming from the default theme and the primary secondary black white and some gray colors okay here also dark is going to be true and all the colors for the dark theme okay so these color schemes will be used so let me export them okay we will use them so i have imported this because we will use all over the styles okay for the background for the colors things okay we have used so then i am going back to the onboarding style sheet so now you can see that we have used the secondary color and one primary color was used you can see that here so we will get them from here okay so here we need to do something else okay like we will export one constant so here i will export one more constant that is theme okay and then we will copy these colors okay okay we will use these colors we are not going to depend on the dark theme and the light theme okay so do some intentions okay later we will do some changes in the light and dark theme so here i will define some constant and is equal to constants constant okay then inside constant we will fetch the theme and inside the theme we need the primary and the secondary color okay fine you can see how i have destructured so we first we have uh, used the constant file then inside the constant we have exported one theme then we are using the primary and the secondary inside them okay fine so let's use these styles inside the onboarding okay so before that make sure that you have uh, copied the styles from the git link okay and paste them here so first we need to import the style that uh, this one the styles this from from dot slash styles okay then inside that the styles will come then here i am writing style style it will be styles that we have imported then it will take some parameters then for parameters we will use as like function okay and slide okay you can send some parameters here like uh, a b c okay you can send some parameter and check there if it exists or not or you can send some dynamic colors or extra okay we will do that later when when we will import the dark theme light theme we will use them so inside slide 
you can see I have taken flex one and justify the content to center and the background color is white okay so I have used this styles to slide then inside that I will use styles so this will be the styles the styles dot title container okay this one fine and inside the text inside the style I will use the styles of text that will be the title okay so you can see that title container is used here and uh, given flex one and justified content to flex end okay then padding some padding at start and the right so inside the title we have used the color and the font size and some font to weight and the text align to center okay this one you can see and then for the image container we will use the style as uh, styles dot that will be the image container this one okay so i'm gonna paste it here and for the image we have we taken one style more like styles dot image okay fine you can see that here this one then for the description text we have taken one text container okay so let me put that here so text container is coming from here this one which have a flex of one then justify content to flex start from the start then some pairings okay okay then styles dot text fine the text these are written like the text will be center and the font weight will be bold okay then inside that need to do some other stylings like for the next button we will use we will give the view as some circle button background okay for that we will add the styles as button circle okay we will copy that then we will paste that here okay fine like this we will also do that inside the render down button okay you can see that button circle this one having width of 40 and a height of 40 uh, having background color of black transparent okay then border radius then just be content center then align item center okay then we will use this skip view for the skip container okay this will be little bit change for of button circle okay you can see there is no background color so i am going to here and uh, i will paste that i will use that here styles okay skip view fine actually inside the skip we will use one text instead of icon we will use text that will be named as skip okay then i will apply the styles for the skip text view this one okay fine so we have implemented the styles for the onboarding screen then we will implement the styles for the splash screen so i'm creating one style file here styles.js okay then let me paste all the styles you can paste from the github link okay you can see that three styles have been used here one is the main container splash screen root view splash screen child view okay fine so here we have taken one platform you have to import from the react native okay 
here it have been checked for the ios it will be the padding top is 20 and uh, for the android it would be zero okay so you have to consider that then inside the splash screen we will use that for styling this view okay we will use the main container this one of having flex one as a large full screen then justify all the things to content center on the align them center and padding and some background color okay so for the time let the background is white okay we will apply them later when we will implement the dark and white mode okay dark mode and the light mode okay fine so so i am using the style here is styles dot this main container and inside the renders splash here we will use one style that is the styles dot here is the splash screen root view all the things have been centered justified then flex is one then some margins of 10 then position is absolute and width and height is set to 100 percentage okay so here i will press that okay then for the this view okay we will use one more style we will use one more style that is styles dot okay we will copy these things from here so here we are justifying the content to center and aligning the items to center and flex of having one okay so i am copying this and inside this view i will paste that okay okay we have uh, completed all the styles so let's rerun this application okay so now let's run our application our metro server is running behind okay so i think we don't need to run this again so if your metro server is closed or not working then again you need to start your application run your application by this okay react native run android okay so i don't need to do that again so i am going to open my application and let's see what happening here and one error we have that is can't find variable in app.js okay so we need to go to the app.js file and here we need to import the use effect i forget it to import then we'll see again fine the splash screen is working fine but in the onboarding style there is issue in type error undefined is not an object okay the theme is coming undefined so let's see by going there this one okay theme so now let me console one thing that this constraints let me check this constraints is coming or not okay so i'm saving the file and inside that oh, only the async storage key is coming so the theme is not coming so need to go inside the constraints and here so i did some mistakes here like in the default we need to paste the theme okay so this will not work so here i will write one theme here and paste all this here okay then let me indent these things okay fine and also we need to put them here we will put that later and i saved the project and let's see what happening again one more error inside the styles in onboarding okay you can see in onboarding there is a issue in the styles 
what was the issue let's see again we can see that in our emulator in our we can see that in our device in the styles there is some style is okay some import export things issue export constants uh, here so we don't need to give the bracket okay curly bracket start for the style sheet this will work as the functions inside function like this okay so i'm again saving the project then okay now the magic has happened you can see okay fine so let me close again and see what is happening there so i'm opening the project and you can see the splash screen here and here is the onboarding screen you can see working fine okay it's look great then if i'm clicking here done you can see the login is showing here okay the login screen so i don't know why the skip button is not showing we will see that so now let's see why the skip button and the done buttons are not showing so here you can see that we have used so next button true so like this we need to show the done button i think so let's do that to true and so skip button okay to true okay then after done means after the completing then the icon will show that will be different okay so that will be the this one okay md check mark that is the tick icon so let's see again and you can see now the skip text is showing here if i click that to skip you can see that directly skip to the login screen okay and uh, here i can slide that and if and uh, here also we can skip that and if you want to use one previous button like this you can also use that so i'm not going to use that then you can see that the check mark is the down button if i'm clicking this one and this okay so these are working fine okay i think that's enough so if we will do the redux part in here so this video will become so long okay so in the next video we will set up the redux thing and also we will do some changes for the dark mode and light mode support okay so if you have uh, faced some issue then please comment below okay i will happy to i will happy to help you so let's meet in the next video. Thank you for watching.